Okay, so we got this. We just kind of eyeballed about where it needs to go up there. Jen helped me hold it while I put little dots for each one of these uh, little little mounts. So I'll go back and put the mounts up. All right, now these long screws are the ones that come with that curtain rack. I'm going with the smaller one. I just so happen to have a little set of them in a little bag. Uh, I just don't want to go that long up into the ceiling. I don't want that popping out the top end. I, it might be doable, but I'm going to put air on the side of caution with the short ones. All right, I found it easier to drill a little pilot hole. Just make note, this stuff isn't like a quarter inch thick. And then it's hollow on top of that. I guess they get these things so uh, so light. I got me another little dot that I made there, and another one down there, there, and there. So uh, I'll go and get these other ones mounted. All right, so we uh, kind of eyeballed it, got it set up. Uh, went and did the inside. Move these to the inside so that they won't be seen from from outside. So I did this screw. Now there's another screw that's gonna go underneath these rails, but I wanted to get the angles right as far as the curve was concerned. And so I'll go back. Uh, I'm gonna have to send Jen to the store tomorrow, get some more of those uh, screws, but we'll put, there's a, another one that goes underneath each one of those. Here, I'll show you. We've got that one in right now. This one's gonna go underneath the the, the railing itself so we'll go back and put some more screws in there so they'll actually have two on each one but i found like i said it's easier to kind of get the angle of this curve by doing the inside one and then we can go back and do that i guess you could have done it either way to be honest with you but anyway that's how we did it all right so i just put one in there that actually has a piece of wood behind it actually it must be a i don't know some wood reinforcement for the roof right there so there's relation to the rest of it. I'm going to show you how to take this, uh, take the railing off. So you grab in here with your finger, kind of push up and in to take the the pressure off the railing, pull that spring loaded thing out, and it'll tilt right on out. All right, I'll try to show you how to do this. One lip goes in on the opposite side, and you just kind of push up and in, it'll click, oh sorry, it'll click when you get it pushed up in there like, ah, I keep missing, anyway, just get that lip in first, then push in towards the spring part and it'll pop on in. turn the AC off because I couldn't even hear my own self think much less y'all to hear it think but anyway you got these little little rollers that just kind of roll up on there I'm not sure how many Jen are gonna want to have I'll just throw a few of them up there she's out she's actually inside working on the uh, on getting the curtains made up so we'll get her stuff when we when she comes on out. All right, so I hung these little, little pincher things. They, I guess they open up and they'll pinch onto the curtains. I don't know if it's gonna be easier to clip those onto the curtains first, probably so, and then hook them up with the little hooks. They're really easy to just kinda lift them up and off there. So we'll see how Jen wants to put them up. So what you got? You said you're gonna go longer. The curtain, and I made it a little longer than I think it needs to be, because I can always cut more off, but I didn't want it to be too short. So. Yeah. yeah, I thought I might do 16 and 14, or two, four, six, eight. Okay, so Jen's hanging them up with just little hooks. Here, I'll hold it up for you. I don't know, it just looks a little long, which I'm sure you're going to trim that up, right? I can, but I left it long on purpose because mm -hmm. I can always cut more off. I can't add any, so I want it to be longer rather than... Good point. I hope it didn't blow 
still, because you know, because Brendan always gets cold because it blows in straight into our bunk. I that may tame it a little bit, I guess. Hmm. Yeah. All right, here's the final. Oh, I gotta put the little cap on the end right there. Just keep it from coming off, but anyway. This pulls around, and you gotta make sure they all kind of come around good because they hang up a little bit. But there's a little cap on there, but that's the only thing with these things is they just kind of want to pull them around. They little hooks come off, but I may get Jen to kind of hem this up a little bit, try to get it to where we can minimize this the girls do kind of say that that lets in a little bit of air so we'll come up with something to hit him that top part but anyway this is the bottom bunk and uh, there top moves really good of course jen's got this one kind of folded down and hemmed up this was just kind of a temporary measure just kind of do that but anyway we'll do this bottom one up like this top one and it'll slide a lot better